AI will make you rich. It's an unfair advantage. Let me show you guys how. The AI I use is called Midjourney, which costs around 10 USD per month. It's done by using a Discord server, which you can DM the bot a detailed description of the image you want to generate. I mean, this kind of looks like Young Thug. I don't know. What do you guys think? Anyway, this is going to be the focus for this design. So let's get straight into it. Go ahead and open a new document in Photoshop. The settings I'm going to be using is 3700 by 5300 at a pixel resolution of 300 dpi because this is made for print. Make sure you've enabled artboards because we're going to do a front and back design and just title the Photoshop document whatever you want and press enter. Once you've got your artboard set up, go ahead and add in your AI generated image, which saves us around 45 minutes in blending and adjustments to make the image get to this point. Let's go ahead and give the skeleton some W rears and go ahead and make him look pretty. So cut out your image. Now AI images are known for being trash resolution. I just use the camera raw filter in Photoshop and go ahead and make any adjustments like add more blacks, sharpen, get rid of any textures just to make it look pretty. But there is services online that you can add your image into to the website and it'll make it pretty for you i'm not lazy let's go ahead and add in a background this is going to dictate our lighting and also shadows for our design in terms of highlights and colors now i want thug's dreads to be pink like his album cover so i'm going to go ahead and use the lasso selection tool by pressing command l and making a new layer and just going ahead and tracing all these little dreads for the lasso selection tool it's super annoying you have to make sure you're constantly holding your mouse but i found it's the quickest way if i need to do any quick selections and make any adjustments later we're going to go ahead and introduce a new layer once we have our selection closed off then we're going to get the eyedropper tool and select some of this purple from the sky and fill that in make sure your layer is on top of the hair and it looks crazy at the moment but we're just going to be using a clipping mask to enclose the selection onto the body and the hair heading into blend modes set the hair color to overlay which is going to make sure that the shadows and the colors are matching the highlights and the tones from the actual image make any adjustments with a brush like filling in this stuff here so them glasses look wax so let's go ahead and add a new layer in get the lasso selection tool again and select the glasses on that new layer i want you to grab a brush and add in some highlight streaks just to add some more character to this image and now it's looking much more effective if you really want to you can make a clipping mask on top of the glasses with the image from the background to make it look like he's in the same environment i want you to go ahead and add a very generic blocky sort of type i use the typography alien among us for this design and the type settings for this typography i am my everyday style pack version one but just to save you guys some time i'm going to put up screenshots rather than me talking your ears off the basis for a good chrome type is bevel and emboss here are the settings copy them to the t reinforce with a nice gradient stroke the same one that you put on your gradient overlay you don't want your type to be ugly and flat so go ahead and add in an inner shadow Add in your gradient overlay. These are the gradients that I use for this design. Copy that to the T so you get a nice crisp horizon. By now you should have a nice crisp looking font that looks something like this. If not, go back, check your scales and also check your gradient if it's correct because those two are the main issues when it comes to making a nice crisp looking metallic font. Now don't be an amateur and just leave sharp corners on your design. Go ahead and grab a smooth brush that's low in hardness and just go around the mask of either the sky or your human or whatever skeleton or creature that you have. Because if you have a strong cut of your image, it just looks cheap like a sticker print and you don't really want that. Bro's looking glamorous. Pause. Anyway, so we're gonna add in a foreground image just to put something at the bottom. You don't really need it, but I have OCD and I like to fill my canvases as much as I can. So go ahead and add in a sort of weird shape that's gonna be our ultimate mask for the image that we put in there. I'm gonna go ahead and use AI to generate the image I'm gonna put into that clipping mask. Nothing too crazy, just the same prompt, but with um, Young Thug writing a skeleton. It came up with this. Now I didn't do anything crazy with the image. I just made sure to fill in the rest of the space towards the sides. And I did that by using the content aware fill tool, which allows you to basically generate the rest of the image around. So you don't have to shape it really weirdly or crop it really weirdly. And it works pretty effectively. The last thing we have to do is basically add a clipping mask to that shape that we built earlier. And now you can see the design coming together. 
you're probably asking yourself, hey, 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 it looks like there's just stickers everywhere. Nothing is really blending. Hmm. I get what you mean. So we're going to go into the blending stages. But first, make sure you hit the like button and the... What's the other ones? Damn, I forgot. Anyway, add in a new layer and grab a sort of thunder brush. I got these ones from Brush Easy and just add them to the back. They're just there to add in some, you know, some elements, some flair, some dazzle. That's not a word. Once that's complete, your design is basically finished. I want you to select everything by holding shift and clicking the bottom all the way to the top and pressing command G, which will group your whole design together. From here, I want you to always make a duplicate of your designs just in case something goes wrong. Get the original one and convert the whole group into a smart object. And then from here, go to filter and then add, add noise and just adjust the noise for me i like to put it in between 18 to 35. it's going to add in some grays so we're going to go ahead and counter that by adding some posturize i don't know how to pronounce that sorry but the colors i'm going to pick is around 4 to 12 and it's going to have this nice muted palette of colors that it uses which gives us an indication of how it's going to look like when it's printed now there's some gray still left in the design, which I don't really like. I want it to be very, very harsh, very, very faded and very, very limited in color. So I'm going to go ahead and add a hue slash saturation and drop down the saturation a fair bit. After that, I'm going to go ahead and back into adjustments and add in a curve. Now with the curve, I'm going to get rid of some of the shadows and also introduce some more highlights that make it look a bit more harsh but not too much to where all the highlights are white just that sweet spot you'll understand it once you see it and right now the design is looking very dark and moody which is perfect now if you love color leave the design as is but me personally i want it to be all one color or three colors just to save money on printing so i'm going to go ahead and add in a gradient map and i'm going to make this color palette just purple black and white and that's going to be the settings for this gradient let's go ahead and introduce some flares i set the blend mode for my gradient to hue that's why it looks like this and it looks very complete and very nice so yeah i'm just adding in some flares where i think the highlights deserve to be hand drawing some using some flare brushes for others just to complete this design and add to it the last thing to do is basically add a grunge slash rip texture to your design just to add to the whole vintage look and no, these don't print if you're using a mask. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, how do I get rid of the black in the design? It's all black. Like, what am I going to do? How do I get rid of it? Basically, I want you to create a new layer mask on top of the group design and basically go to color, select color and then select shadows and within the mask, press G and grab the paint bucket tool and press fill in and it's going to fill it in, which is going to remove all the shadows in the design. Now, this is 100 percent ready to send a full production. Let's go ahead and put it on some mock-ups. Now these personal cutouts are on the Studio Wheel Patreon and I have a video tutorial making these cutouts completely from scratch and showing you guys how to use them when it comes to more heavy color designs. But since we've removed the blacks for this, all we really need to do is copy and paste the design over to the new artboard. Let's go ahead and make the back design. I'm just going to be using the front design, but on a gray scale and just add some new type that says free you know, Young Thug's sub name or his, I guess, nickname that he calls himself. After using the gradient map to black scale to design or grayscale to design, add in a new layer, grab yourself a nice, thick, rough brush, and then go ahead and draw in whatever you want in terms of typography to complete the back design. And then from there, just go to distort and then displacement map, and then just add in a crazy displacement map just to make the design look more, I guess, grunge or hand drawn. That's referring to the typography. I usually use the ones that I found on Unsplash in a new map folder that I have. And this one works perfectly all the time. Like there's never a use case where this doesn't work. Look how perfect that looks. Select the blending mode and just change the blending mode or just change the opacity and that's going to make it it for the back design. Lastly, just add that thing to the mock-up and you're basically finished. This is crazy that this took me a little under 45 minutes when I made a video similar to this design that took me three hours because I made everything completely from scratch. So if you're not using AI, 
you're missing out and you're losing money. So make sure you use AI and make sure to go check out Revision, which is dropped for summer. And I know you want to get some drip for them people out there in the US. Hey, you feel me? So make sure you get fresh real quick with some Revision. I love you guys. I'll see you when I see you. Take care. Peace.